Hey guys, welcome back to Roblox. Today we are playing Monsters of Etheria, and basically I'm doing a small tutorial on how to get this monster called, uh, I actually did not check, Magmarva. And basically, you anger the, uh, Stingferno Hive. Sting, Stingfern, I have no idea what that is. Uh, I think it's gonna be like a bee or something, a bee monster. Just cause it's a, you know, basically a beehive that you gotta knock down or something with headbutt. Um, I'm using Umbris for this, because Umbris can learn Headbutt at a certain level. Um, but there are definitely a lot more monsters that know Headbutt. I'm just gonna name a few. Uh, Cryoclops, um, aka the evolution of, um, Cryoball, I think. Mabiki, Kungafu, uh, Kungare, or Kung, Kungarate? I have no idea if I pronounced it right. Umbris, of course. Poigon, uh, Skirmara. B Hero, B Turion. I just realized I suck at pronouncing these names. Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna continue. Spookims, Scarims, Honum, Ursweet, Lutzpice, Quasa, Chromite, Carapinch, and Kotsuki. Uh, so yeah, those are all the monsters that know headbutts. I'm just using Umbris because I already have it set. But what you want to do is when you spawn in, you gotta make your way over to the Inferno. Or, bro, what, what am I even saying? The Volcano. Um... Also, I'm going to show you a code in a couple seconds. Uh, I didn't actually try this out, so I'm not sure if I'm going to completely fail this or not. Ow, I just got burned on lava or something. Um, ow. <laughs> I'm going to die before I even complete this. Alright, but what you want to do is come over here, and then use, like, headbutt on this beehive, so yeet. Oh, did, did I not do it? Alright, so you got to come over here, actually. So you just, like, get on this ledge. Oh my gosh, I literally almost died. Stop stream sniping me, dude. Uh, bro, how do I how do I get up? Do I just gotta eh? Yeet. Okay, thankfully that does not hurt you. Um, but we just make our way over here, then yeet. Oof, Stingferno didn't like that. Uh, wh what what does that mean? This would probably be easier with the like freaking fire monster. Oh, uh, I don't think any monster that has a fire type. Actually, uh, knows headbutt, though. Dang it. Alright, I'll see you once I get this thing. Because this might take a little bit of trial and error. Where the frick is Umbris? Right, right there. Yeah, this might take a while, because I'm going to have to fall in the lava every single time I smack it. So, and I'm falling off, so that's, that's just great. Yeet. Hey, there we go, I got it. Alright, that took a long time, dude. I just kept hitting it over and over again. The Stingferno didn't like that. Oh, boo-hoo, but where's my monster? But there we go. We got a... Okay, I, I thought this was going to be a bee, but apparently it's not. It's like a little dying rat thing or something. Well, is this a larva? We got pup... Uh, pupa... Pupagma... <laughs> what? I mean, I guess I'll use a max voucher on it, because I'm running out 14. All right, there we go. Let's check out the evolutions, though. We got pupag... Pupagma... I swear I'm literally mispronouncing all of these names. Alright, I actually like that one. That looks pretty cool. Oh, and it does get a little twirl. Oh, that's so cool. Like, when you fall down a really high distance, you start, like, spinning. And the final one, we got Stingferno. Uh, this one also looks really cool. Oh, dang. So it's like a fire bug type, I guess? Dang, that's pretty cool. Alright, let's check out its moveset then. Um, I guess I can also do the code. So, um, if we go over to the general shop and go to the code, if you put back, back to school, uh, 2019, I think. Yeah, there we go, redeemed, uh, five self crates. I'm gonna try to test it out with Magic to try to get a creation skin or whatever, or Celestial, to go what's called. Uh, but let's see, we've got, uh, String Shot, Tackle, Ember, Forceful Bash, Rage, Bug Bite, which is decent. Will-O-Wisp is also pretty good. Defense Curls, I think, uh, boosting your defense. Lava Plume is good. Bug Buzz, Fire Punch, Flame... Jeez, he has a lot of good moves. Alright, first of all, Flamethrower is pretty good. Uh, let's also get, maybe, um, a Quiver Dance for String Shot. Oh, I need more Quirky Arbs. Can I buy some? Hopefully I can, that, that'd be great. Hey, can I, can I buy some, um... Ooh, these things are expensive. How do I, how do I get more than one at, at one time? Um, so how, how much, how much would be, like, a lot? 20, 20, 98, Jesus. 
How much would 98 be? Not enough credits. Good. Um, you know, I guess I'll just do it one at a time then. Uh, I want to get, like, three. Alright, we got three. So now we can actually get decent moves. Uh, move set, please. Alright, uh, let's see. So we got Flamethrower. I think Fire Punch or Ma Lava Plume. Should we do Fire Punch or... I mean, I like the punching ones. So I guess... Uh, or actually, maybe it should be replaced with Tackle. Yeah, Tackle, get out of here. Uh, let's see. Flare Blitz. Fire Blast. Uh, Frig. These are really good moves, actually. Uh, we can do Bug Buzz, I guess. Bug Buzz should be pretty good. Place for a String Shot, I guess. Um, yeah, Bug Buzz. And what should the final one be? Fire Blast or Flare Blitz? I mean, Flare Blitz, you can charge at the enemy. So, there we go. Those are my moves right there. I guess we can test them out. So, I guess we'll go in the water because those guys look like they're dueling it out. Flare Blitz. Yeet. Just go hurtling towards your enemy, doing a lot of damage. Fire Punch, you just have the straight up fist. Uh, Flamethrower, you shoot like a flamethrower beam that does a lot of damage. And Bug Buzz is a bug type move that I think does damage, hopefully. Or so I just wasted a uh, friggin' quirky orb. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna just open these, uh, five self crates right here. But that's pretty much it for today's episode. Um, it's not really that huge of a video. I just kind of wanted to show this off, um, and also show off the code, because I don't really know how I'd make this a full Monsters of Ethereum video, but more like a video that I kind of put in between, um, my upload schedule, because I said I was going to do a, like, every upload, or every day, or every other day upload schedule, but, um, I like to upload, like, mini videos in between sometimes, but let's go to the crates, self-crates, give us, uh, Celestial Maju. Come on. I just need, like, one more. I think it's either the Demonic Maju or the Angelic Maju. Okay, that's another duplicate. Uh, we got, like, three more chances, I think, so... Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Okay, duplicate. Yellow Maju. At least I'm getting a lot of credits for these guys. That That's a good thing, right? So, sort of. Uh, duplicate Purple Maju. Alright, that's... That's not what I want. Uh, and finally, what do we got? Do pink, pink Maju. Alright. Okay, that, that was a fat waste. <laughs> Wasting myself, Chris, guys. Is this a good idea? Is it worth getting the friggin' Celestial Maju? Or should I just give up and go for something else? Like, maybe the final Munstorm skin to get a Rainbow Munstorm? I don't know if what if I'm doing is good or not. But yeah, anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, notifications, turn on, yes, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video, Bye bye